everyone. This is Smartsoft. Uh, today, uh, we're going to be describing this whole uh, distributed AI defect inspection setup. By cooperating with Advent Tech and NVIDIA, we are able to design such a system. This system features two aspects. The first aspect, we focus on uh, the distributed nature of the hardware and software architecture, which essentially separates AI inferencing tasks from the host computer. The host computer in this picture will be this IPC right here from Advent Tech. Uh, traditionally, to do AI inferencing, one would require a GPU to do so. And to do multiple different types of AI inferencing, we will then require multiple GPUs, which means multiple IPCs. But here, all you see is one IPC connected to the module. Now what this means is, we're trying to tell you, you don't need an IPC with a GPU in it. We can use any ordinary IPC without any GPU as long as it is connected remotely to an Eventech AI uh, module. So to do, so then right now to do multiple types of defect inspections, we would then only need one IPC without any GPU in it and connect to multiple uh, AI modules to achieve what others would think the uh, impossible task. This essentially saves a lot of cost and space. Now the second aspect of this system is how we leverage NVIDIA's model optimizers. Uh, by successfully leveraging the model optimizer, we are able to achieve a server-grade performance on the mere embedded device right here. So with this, uh, we will introduce this demo right here. What we're trying to do here is uh, a lot of the production lines will require us to pick out defects out of a, a very complex background. For example, fabrics right here. As you can, you might not be able to see it, but let me pull one up. This is a fabric. So as evidently, this has a lot of complex background information, uh, patterns that are not really much of a pattern, it's more like a drawing. So with this, uh, traditionally, we would require uh, automated optical inspection algorithms before the emergence of AI. And for each of the different types of defects, we would require to uh, write out a software uh, structure for uh, dedicated for each, each type of defect, which would be very time consuming and requires a lot of effort. Now with the emergence of AI, we could use a mere a thousand, maybe a thousand defective images to train a single AI model which would then be able to pick out multiple types of defects out of a very complex background image. So this is what essentially what we're trying to achieve. And as you can see here, uh, for example, if I move the cloth to where there is a stain here, a stain mark, I'm not sure if you can see on the screen, but you can see it, here's a uh, stain. And it says that this is this part of the image is NG is is not okay. So and on the right uh, on the right part of the screen you can obviously see uh, absent robotic arm, which then moves us to a certain position after uh, receiving a signal that this is an, this is not this is a defective image. So if I if I move to a, a region where there is no defect, as you can see here it says it's it's passed and the robotic arm moves to another uh, position. Now, how, how did we do this? Basically, we have a, a, a software platform called SmartSeq, which essentially integrates, whether it is AI deep learning, uh, robotic control, automated optical inspection algorithms, even uh, serial communication protocols, we could all do it in one platform called SmartSeq without any programming knowledge. So for example, if I want to automate a fabric uh, defect inspection on a production line, say, if I see a defect, then I would need to tell the robotic arm to pick up the cloth to put it in, a, say, a defective bin. Then, for example, if I move the cloth to a defective position, then we have a simulator here. Basically, it shows we can pick up a defective cloth and then move to position B, for example. 
And if I move to where there is no defect, then you can see the robotic arm moves back to its original position, ready to pick up the next sample. So basically, we have we have a total solution. Uh, it's distributed AI. It is able to integrate uh, all sorts of automation needs without any prior programming knowledge. Thank you.